Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I and Waylon is making another appearance. Say hi, Waylon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we have a Stitch Fix box that we're going to unbox for the month of September. However, guys, and he is so excited about opening this box that he is trying to open it right now. I already peeked at this box. This is the first oh, time ah. ever. Okay. This is the first time ever that I have peeked at a Stitch Fix box. And the reason why is because I've been so disappointed ah. with my stylists lately oh, and yeah. them not like listening and not getting my style. I'm putting stuff on my Pinterest board. I'm doing those new little surveys. I'm leaving really detailed feedback and it's just not happening. And I, from peeking, I'm disappointed in this box as well. But that always is different when you try stuff on. So if you want to see what we're unboxing this month for September, stick around. All right, y'all. So this is my burrito for the month of September. And like I said, I know it's in here, but I'm eager to see how these pieces look. All right, Waylon. You hold the paper, dude. You wanna hold all that? Okay, wait a minute. He's like drooling all over him. This is the only thing I was excited about in this box from peeking, and that is this cold shoulder top. He's trying to show y'all. He is like a YouTuber in the making. There we go, right there. He is like, if y'all watched my Bath and Body Works haul, he's a pro. So this is the Colette Romy cold shoulder knit top in burgundy and this is medium and I had this pin All right, you want to show them look And I really like this color. It is a burgundy. It's super soft It has the <laughs> short sleeve and it has the like not cold shoulder there So this was the only thing I had pinned that I'm looking forward to so my note that I sent her I told her I wanted like all tops that I could pair with jeans and converse and make like statement pieces on the go and I don't think this box, if you're, when you see, it's not going to make sense from what I sent. But this definitely does. So I'm excited about that piece. The next thing I'm excited about, because I did tell her that I needed a pair of jeans. However, um, these look way different than they did when I was peeking. That's why I don't like to peek. But these are the 1822 denim Bertina size slit distressed skinny jean in size 8 in indigo. So as y'all can see, it's got the like minor distressing, which I like. I don't like a super distressed jean. However, I didn't really want skinny jeans and I'm not a big fan of the frayed bottom. And I've said that before many times in feedback. And it not only has the frayed bottom, but it's got the both side slit thing there going on. Mm, not really a fan of that, but I will definitely try them on. But just looking at them coming out of the box, they looked way better in the picture, I would must say. Now this is something I'm confused on why she sent because I never have requested a jean jacket. I have one from JCPenney's that I've spent less than $40 on that I've had for years and I love it. Once you get one jean jacket, like you're set. You don't need to keep buying them. It's a staple for life, I feel, <laughs> unless they get like super worn out. This is by Market and Spruce and this is the Camilla Boyfriend Denim Jacket in medium. And that's what it looks like there. It is really cute, guys. Mine has quarter length sleeves. This one is long sleeves. And I do like how it has like the fading there. You have to Mine. show them. All right, that's his. Um, but I don't need another jean jacket, so I'm, I'm confused on Next that. thing I'm pulling out is this black front tie. I did specifically request front tie shirts. This is not the fabric I had in mind. This is by Vixby Tompkins Tie Front Top in Black. And this is 100% rayon. So first off, Wrinkle City, it does have the pocket in the front and it does have the tie front that you can see there. Maybe a little bit of a high low. This might look really cute with some white jeans. But this is definitely not the like weekend cotton tie front I was looking for. And there is a boutique close to me that has a lot of what I'm looking for for prices cheaper than Stitch Fix. So I might just start doing that. And then the last piece that she threw in here I'm really confused on why she threw this in here. Um, I'm eager to read my card, actually. It says, this is the Mix by 41 Hawthorne Cassidy Faux Wrap Dress in Navy. I did not request any dresses whatsoever. Um, I don't know. So here, I don't like the pattern at all. I don't like the pattern. It is red, um, which I have been requesting some red pieces, but I don't like this geometric print pattern. Um, I just don't. I, this is just not my style. 
I'm not going to say anything else about it. It might look great on, but I don't really, I'm not in the need for any more dresses. That's not what I requested. So let's get into what my note says. So let me see if I even have my same stylus, which I do. It says, happy fix day, Nicole. How has the beginning of your school been so far? We are almost a month in, but this year seems to be going so slowly. Why? We have some exciting Christmas plans, so I think that is why the days are dragging. Fall is definitely my favorite season, so I love sending some gorgeous colors to help you feel more festive. Although we don't have an official fall with the co cooler fall weather, <laughs> so I like to call it pumpkin season. Now, she said this last time. So, all right. The stunning burgundy 41 Hawthorne dress will look amazing with the Market and Spruce jacket and a pair of booties for a look inspired by one of your pins. So, I did have a pin with a maxi dress with boots and a denim jacket. I did. So, maybe that's where she's getting yeah. that. That looked nothing like the pin, I will say. And now he's going to be loud playing stuff. The oh. burgundy Colette cold shoulder top will pair nicely with the 1822 denim distressed jeans. I hope you adore this one and look forward to reading your comments. Until next time, all my best, Kelly. So here's the style cards. So I guess she went the very first pin pretty much she looked at and that's what she went for. So kind of, kind of bummed with Stitch Fix. I'm going to be honest. Um, that I don't, feel, I don't feel like Kelly is hearing me. So I might request another stylist in the future. Or I might just give Stitch Fix a break and just go shopping in store. Um, I hate doing that with two kiddos. As y'all can see, like I'm always having one on my butt. And <laughs> I never have time to do anything for myself. Even try this stuff on at home, really. But we'll see. All right, so let's try these pieces on. I'm hoping that cold shoulder top, the first one I showed y'all, works. And maybe the jeans. I don't really like the bottom though. <laughs> Let's try this stuff on. All right, y'all. So I have the cold shoulder that I was hoping I would like, and I really do. I knew this was a keeper, so I'm happy about it. So it's that burgundy color, perfect for fall. I love how this cold shoulder has like the knot detail there. I think that is so stinking cute. And how you're not really showing a lot of shoulder there, um, but I'm no, I don't mind that. I like the cold shoulder. And I love the length on it. So I love how it's just simple. You can wear this with Converse, with a statement piece. And that's what I asked for the whole box. Like I wanted a whole box of shirts like this and I didn't get but one. I do want to show you the jeans and I put a, because um, I'm super short guys as far as frame. So here are the jeans. I do not like how, I'm going to show y'all. The back is like light wash to dark wash. So it's like emphasis on your butt. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing to try to like make you look like you have junk in your trunk, but I don't really Hi. need any more of that. And as far as the detail here goes, Hi. I am just not a fan of the slits on both sides plus the fray. I just think that's a little bit overkill there. I don't like the light to dark. I wish it was like all dark. I would probably keep them, but I don't think I'm going to keep the jeans. However, they are comfortable in the waist. They're the perfect, um, size as far as the I'm losing train of thought on what I'm trying to say as far as where they hit on my stomach because I'm kind of picky about that but don't think I'm keeping the jeans definitely keeping the top all right so I've got the black tie front quarter length sleeve top on that was all rayon I do not like this all right so I like tie front tops um but see how this one like has the high low I just think that looks weird with this big tie in the front. I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think down below, how you think this looks. But I just think it, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan. I mean, up here, I have the jeans on, so from last time I didn't bother taking them off yet. But here is what the shirt looks like, full frame, so you can see. But I'm just not liking, I wanna see. yeah, you wanna see? I'm just not liking how short it is in the front like this. And that's like a big old piece of material up front with the tie. I don't know. I don't think this is a keeper. I'm going to try to just the dress, the dress and the jean jacket on next. All right. So last but not least, I have the dress and the jean jacket. I must say this jean jacket is like butter. I absolutely love it. However, like I said, I have one already. So do I need two? Absolutely not. But I really, really like this jean jacket. So um, first off, I love the color on it. It's not, it's not a dark and it's not a light wash, but it has like the fading, the wear on it. It does have a full length sleeve, which I, which I appreciate. And it's got like the fading on the top to the dark on the back, which again, I'm not real a fan of the ombre with denim, but I do like this. And what I like about it most is that it has pockets that are functional. I don't think my other jean jacket does. So you can definitely put your hands in here for pockets. So here is the dress guys. So here's the, the jacket. So you can see it 
full circle. So the jacket is really nice. It's marked in spruce though. So I know it's going to be pricey, which all jean jackets pretty much are. But that one I have that I love that y'all always compliment on my Dollar Tree hauls, I got for less than like $30, something stupid. So here's the wrap dress. Wrap dresses make me look bustier than I am on the top. Don't know if I like that so much, <laughs> but here's what it looks like all the way around. And as far as a full length, here we go. So it is flatter figuring, uh, flattering to the figure, I must say. But again, I don't like this pattern at all. Like if it was one color, if it was a solid red or a solid burgundy, I would probably be sold on this. Like really, I don't like the material so much. It's like that cheap like jersey material if you will but i'm not digging the pattern at all and i don't like how it makes me like look mamma jamma busty up top so let's get into the prices and see what i think of this fix guys all right also back with the price sheet so let's go over the prices for these items i already know i'm keeping that cold shoulder for sure because it's the cheapest thing in my box and i knew that so the colette romy cold shoulder knit top in burgundy is 28 bucks I mean, yeah, you could probably get this a little bit cheaper, guys, but I think $20 is a great price point on this, and I will wear this, I will wear the crap out of this, I'll be honest, because it's exactly what I asked for in this box. Like, Kelly, if you would have sent a whole box of tie front or cold shoulders like this in this material, I would have bought them all. It would have been a five for five for sure, I promise you. Then this faux wrap dress that I still have on is $58. I definitely would not pay $58 for a print that I don't love. I'm not really loving the way it fits at the top. I mean, y'all might think I'm crazy down below, but y'all let me know your thoughts for that. The denim jacket, oh, heck to the no. Guys, I didn't even realize it was this expensive. This market in spruce denim jacket is $78. It's almost $80 for this jacket. Wow. Um, like I said, the one I have from JCPenney's is so much cheaper and I don't need two denim jackets. So even though I did like the way it felt super soft and it's not like a, you know, like a really sturdy denim, it's a giveable, if that makes sense, a uh, denim jacket, $80. No, I can't justify it. The jeans. Okay. So I was sad about the jeans because I knew they were reasonably priced too. These are $48. These are the Bertina side slit distress skinny jeans. I don't like guys if they did not have both the side slits on each side and the fray. I just think that's overkill, especially out of my comfort zone. And I've mentioned that on my videos before. Um, and I just didn't like the ombre like colors going on. I don't know. I'm just in a mood, y'all. I'm in a mood. Y'all know how it is when you try on stuff sometimes and you're like, uh, uh, nothing working out. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I was feeling when I opened it up and saw what was coming because I'm tired of, I'm tired of not listening. <laughs> All right, so this tie front top is $40. Heck to the no for that too. No. All right. So this was $252 for this entire box. If I would keep everything, I would get 25% off at the buy five discount, which would be $63. So my order would be $189 for everything. Not happening. So I'm paying $28. That's what I'm going to pay for this box and keep this shirt and send everything else back. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all now. So no matter what y'all put down in the, in the comments below, I've probably already checked out super fast because this is the only thing that I want to keep. It's $28. I think I'm going to go and shop at, like I said, I have some boutiques that post pictures all the time of what I'm looking for for reasonable prices. So I guess I'm just going to have to get my mommy butt in there and try some stuff on. Maybe I can go after work when I don't have the kids for maybe an hour and like power shop or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video on it. <laughs> so y'all give this video a thumbs up if you love Stitch Fix unboxings, guys. That's what I've done from day one on my channel, but they're just slacking here lately. I don't know what's going on. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already. I do have some things that I purchased from ThreadUp. So things I actually picked, not a goodie box. I'm taking a way break from that. But I have some things that I picked out that are super cute. I cannot wait to share for y'all. I'm hoping everything fits. I haven't tried anything on yet. So definitely stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're not with me so you can see what I got from ThreadUp. Y'all let me know your comments down below, your experience with Stitch Fix lately. If you're getting great boxes and you're loving the pieces and your stylus is the bomb or you're like me and you're kind of in a rut right now with Stitch Fix. I love you guys so much. Y'all have an amazing day, an awesome night, weekend, whenever you're watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.